hey what is up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and this video is my 100th pathfinder solution video and starting from one reaching till 100 uh, was not an easy task uh, it would not have been possible without the support of you guys and uh, you people are awesome you supported me from the very beginning and uh, step by step we grew our family to from 0 to 800 subscribers and I hope uh, we will continue this journey for a long time so if you want to stay with me just click that subscribe button and thanks for everything I mean I don't know how will I return this favor but uh, thanks again so in today's question we have spherical waves emanated from an isotropic point source of light located at a distance l from a plane screen and a broad parallel beam of light emanated from an extended source simultaneously illuminate the screen the parallel beam falls on the screen at normal incidence okay both the sources are coherent emit monochromatic light of wavelength lambda and the point source is in phase with the wave front of parallel beam at its location right so the this wave front and the light coming out from this point source will have the same phase what kind of interference pattern is obtained on the screen and the second one is find the expression for the spacing between nth and n minus oneth bright fringe fine so let us check the first question okay suppose this one is the source s right and from this source somewhere here at a distance r from the central point o there is an interference occurring with the parallel ray fine and this at this point there will be some path difference or phase difference okay non zero of course and the locus of this phase difference on this surface constant phase difference at this surface would be a circle okay and if you check the light wave coming from this source s and the parallel wave which is also coming from the extended source it will create a path difference of zero at point o hence there will be a bright spot at the center okay at some distance r from the center okay there will be some path difference and that path difference will be constant for a circle of radius r so i hope you can understand that the interference fringes will be concentric circles with alternate bright and dark rings and the central spot should be bright right so if i want to show you the interference fringe it would look something like this this is a computer generated uh, image and this how a real experiment would show just like the above situation uh, this is known as Newton's ring experiment I think in your first year of BTEC or uh, MSc you will be doing this experiment of Newton's ring where you will find out the unknown wavelength of sodium vapor lamp right and uh, it is a very beautiful experiment and you can google it up you can see these images on the internet i won't say that this is the exact newton's ring experiment but it is pretty similar fine so this is how the interference fringe will look like as you can see bright spot dark ring bright ring dark ring and it keeps on going right now our second question what was it find expression for the spacing between nth and n minus 1th bright fringe so I will borrow the same diagram from the first page so let us take a bright fringe of radius r n which will be the nth bright fringe right so the path difference at any point on the circle would be o a minus b a right so o a is root over l square plus r n square minus l of course uh, the fringe radius of the fringes are very small so you can just take l square common here 
do some binomial uh, approximation we will get the final expression for path difference which is nearly equals to rn square by 2l where rn is the radius of the nth bright fringe so for bright fringe of course this path difference should be equal to n lambda where n will be equal to 0 1 2 where 0 represents the central bright spot fine now this is the radius for the nth bright fringe and similarly for n minus 1 the expression would look like this so the spacing is rn minus rn minus 1 uh, okay see as you can see the spacing is not constant of course you can see the diagram that uh, with increase in order number the spacing is also changing right even in the real experiment it shows the similar structure okay i hope you all have understood this solution and if you found this video helpful and informative please do subscribe if you like the video give a thumbs up and uh, i don't think i'll be continuing the pathfinder series anymore for the time being i will concentrate on aits because it is more helpful for your exam so stay tuned with the channel and i'll see in the next one peace